fresh it in, fresh it in, fresh it. The topic is diversity in music, and basically, uh, I produce and I rap, and I make beats. So when I make a beat, I use a whole bunch of different sounds from a whole bunch of different genres of music. You know, I incorporate jazz, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of rock, hip hop, R&B, and all those different types of music come into a, a one sound, and that's the smick sound. And that's the sound I put out, and that's the sound that I'm trying to bring to the game right now, and to music uh, in whole. Also, you know, I know how to play the piano, I know how to play the guitar, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I know how to play the recorder a little bit. Those are all different types of music. And my sound, uh, as a whole, is unique and diverse because of that. And there you go. Hey, Justin Sun, freshman at Bowling Green State University, talking to you about musical diversity. You know, every culture has a certain genre of music that they listen to because from that culture, there's people who make the music, and it's so far, they can relate to it, such as, people of African American descent, minorities period, listen to music about the struggle, or, you know, about having good times where they live from. That's what more so why we clean the rap. More so people in suburban areas, you know, then more so have more problems like the high school sweethearts, so they might listen to stuff like Fall Out Boy. And then you have people from rural areas who just listen to Tim McGraw because they can relate to what he's going through. You know, music is all about how you can relate to certain situations in life, and that's how music is diverse. My name is Emmanuel Ramsey, aka Prodigy, and I'm a producer here at Bowling Green State University. Basically, culture diversity in music is making music that shows who you are, and you're trying to show everybody else who you are. Back in the day, you know, when music first started out, in Africa, we was playing drums, and in India, you know, they did the snake charm and stuff. So basically, you want to make music that makes other people feel good while at the same time it makes you feel good. So that's basically what music should be about. Alright, so cultural diversity in radio. Um, I think it's a very important thing because in a station like this we have so many different genres. And if our station wasn't culturally diverse, you know, we wouldn't have so many genres. We would have like indie rock and jazz and that would be about it. But since we have like a lot of people from different cultures at our station, you know, we got a lot of urban stuff, we got a lot of uh, electronic stuff that we got our world section and stuff like that. So it just makes the whole station more diverse that more music can be played and more music is available to listen to. So it's, it's a good thing. Okay. I think there is diversity in music because like everybody has different personalities. Like music is not like, set to race. It doesn't matter what race you are, like you can like any kind of music. Like I like all types of music. I don't just only listen to hip hop. Music is about feeling like music music is about the way it makes you feel. It's not about like the color of your skin or, or anything like that. So there is very much so diversity in music. Hello, my name is Matt Horn. I'm a senior in telecommunications, and I'm also the news director for BGRNO. I feel that music and cultural diversity is very important with one another, and they both play a very large role and impact on one another, just with several different things, whether it comes to the different genres of music and how it just how it just includes every group of people. I mean, all types of music comes from different histories, like hip hop comes from R&B, which comes from rock, and it goes from jazz, and like it's all related in some sort of way. And it comes to so many different groups of people, whether Whatever ethnicity you are, whatever back hold, back household background you come from, whether you're rich or poor, it doesn't make a difference. Whatever part of the country you're from, even when you go to different countries, everybody, there are different genres of music, and it just encompasses so many different types of people. I think it's really important, especially in a society that we're in and how we're moving forward, because society's moving forward along with music. I mean, I think that some music still hangs on to the negative stereotypes, especially some urban music, not specifically all types of music, but you know, country music does the same thing also. It all just varies back and forth, but I feel that music is moving forward along with the country, and I think that with music, it's gonna help our country to continue moving forward and help us all just be able to intermingle with people on a more regular basis without there being so many negative stereotypes. Uh, my name is Ryan Glover. I work with WBGFM. I'm the general manager. 
Uh, cultural diversity in radio is dependent on really where you are. Luckily, on campus here at Bowling Green State University, we have WBGFM, the campus radio station. Uh, as you can see, we have racks upon racks of different types of music, so luckily, we're able to incorporate several different kinds of cultures. We have everything from indie rock, which, you know, kids from the suburbs listen to, down to Latin music, world music, folk, everything. So, it's really nice around here to get into radio and learn more about cultures. We cop it, Cooper, no tops, get your grands up. Homie, we got grams on the block, get your grands up. Couple hundred stones in the watch, get your grands up. That money coming non-stop, get your grands up. Get your, get your grands up. Get your grands up, get your, get your grands up. Get your grands up, get your, get your grands up. Get your grands up, get your grands up. Get your grands up. For the rich, the click, you niggas better recognize. Understand we up and coming, fresh young niggas on the rock. Money is that topic and I got my eyes on that prize. Haters out of spots, so they me down, but I'm too hard to find. I'm no sucker or no dummy, don't you play.